I feel like if there was an emoji that could wrap up me watching the show, at least the, the stuff with the girls, it will be this emoji, a different emoji for the other parts. <laughs> Hello Cosmo UK, I'm Chriselle Staus and I am doing a Selling Sunset Season 3 watch along. Don't forget to subscribe to Cosmo UK so you can see more. First one up, let's see what we got. Uh, Christine dress reveal, alright, let's see. Okay, I have to tell you guys something about the snow. Looking back on it, I feel like it was just to mess up all of our hair. So. That <laughs> she would be the prettiest one there which is actually that really what it what, what it was i think it's hilarious i think it's very on brand and funny you know we're very opposite so what can i say personally i love when i saw it in the white when i watched the show i was like oh my gosh i could barely believe that was the same dress i loved it in white but you know that's why we're complete opposites but it looks great on her. <laughs> so pretty. See? I wish they showed other people coughing. It was all of us, it was not just me, just so you know. And someone nailed it. I think it was Brett or Jason said that it looked like a Chanel fashion show and I thought that was a perfect description. All right, next one up. Okay, so this is the scene with Christine and Amanza. They had a little interaction at my charity event. Let's see what they said. I feel like it's been really hard because you know, you've been in the middle a little bit. I'm driving a wedge between you and Mary's friendship. I will say, I just love Amanza so much and I love how outspoken she is. I talked to you for three seconds of the way. I definitely, a million percent, do not remember that. You Stop never lying. There's a tendency to make things bigger than they were. I was there the whole time. There was only that one, actually the one thing you see on camera between the two of them, that was all that happened. So it wasn't more that happened. That was it. So I think it's a little strange to make it into something bigger, but obviously I'm team Amanda, so it's hard to hide that. Sorry. I must say Christine looks absolutely gorgeous. They both do, but I want to try and throw a positive. There you go. She looks absolutely stunning. How's it going over there? It was like my IQ was going down just being in that situation. Yeah, I know this is like a charity oh, event. I'm like, this oh, is charity. Pause. Okay, what? Um, oh, that's what frustrates me. Amanda is very smart. Um, and uh, so that's frustrating to go to another group of people and say that your IQ went down from talking to her. That's offensive. Not surprising, but offensive. Oh, this gives me anxiety to watch. Um, uh, yeah, I, I was hoping uh, that night she would shop for a cause. She did not, but that's fine. I didn't actually see this. You know, I had a lot of things going on that night. So it's interesting to see, um, you know, what went down. Um, it is what it is. I don't know what to say. This is always my face when I watch the show. I'm like, oh, okay. This watch along is making me uncomfortable. Okay, next. All right, everybody loves Mary. So I do have to say something here. Some people watch a show, they don't do real estate, they don't know how it works. There's no brokerage where the broker gives you listings. Like, that just doesn't happen. Are you kidding me? I get it. We cannot expect Jason to give all of us deals. And I just feel like at times it's a little bit unfair. That is unheard of in any other brokerage. Um, really, truly. Um, so it's... It's a little odd that some of the girls are expecting that. These girls are trying to take away all of my success and my hard work saying, oh, it's because they dated. No, I bust my ass and I worked for it. Yes, yes, Mary, yes. Um, Mary is working her ass off. She works harder than any agent in that office easily. It's not even close. Always in there, she's got multiple deals going on every single day. The, this one's a little hard because it's it's a joke. Like if if he were to pass something off, it's because he knows she can handle it and she's in there every day. And some of them are not to be seen, so. And they just want to throw it back on, oh, she's probably sleeping with them. No. Brokers don't give out listings. If they do, you're super lucky to, to, to have that and you should 
be really grateful, but should never be expected. Um, and Mary works her. Okay, so this scene is Heather, Christine, and Davina. Uh, they get into a little bit of a fight. We've seen these three be close um, the whole season, so let's see how this goes down. People hire publicists and whole teams to get their name out there. They'll call or drop hints. That's pretty much how the paparazzi thing works. It's not like in the bushes. I I'm pissed off. You guys are fucking annoying me because you keep saying it and pissing me off. I'm not doing this anymore. I think, it, you know, it, there is a jealousy element here. I'm not going to lie. Like the paparazzi has been more interested in certain cast members and not in others that clearly would like that to be the case. And so... I'm not saying, you know, of course, there are times we give interviews and that kind of a thing. Um, but there's also times where they legitimately are hiding. Sorry, but as somebody that, yeah, sometimes they are in the bushes. They're literally hiding or following you and you didn't call them and you don't want them there. And I don't think that has happened for Christine. So she doesn't know that that's how it goes sometimes, but it is. No, you've done this four times. You have. It's annoying. I'm over it. Heather, we're just being funny. No, it's not funny. Try to make me look stupid. What? Netflix let us drop F-bombs a lot this season. I don't, I really don't think that she has a, a bad bone in her body. I just think she's really sweet. She can be easily swayed. So, um, I watch this and, and I can see, you know, I, I don't know. I feel like I know her heart. So I feel like I can see why that would be frustrating for her. She gets very defensive if anybody comes for her relationship as she should. So, um, and like I said, I feel like maybe there's not a full understanding of how that stuff works, but they're very open about their lives. So, you know, but if they're happy and they want to share it, what's wrong with that? Like why judge? That's how I feel. Live your best life. Corral house tour. Okay. I love this show. Not our show. <laughs> I mean, I love our show, but I'm saying, um, I, <laughs> I love Queer Eye. Karama from Queer Eye is one of my friends and clients. He's looking to relocate. I think he's looking for a pool, a great place to cook, and a view. What more would you want? So pretty. You know, I love Queer Eye. I, I saw the season, so I, I you know, I know Karamo's not Team Chriselle, but that's okay. I love him. I'm so excited that he did our show. You know, that was a compliment to all of us on the show. So, um, yeah, I love him. And that house was beautiful. Okay, next scene. Which scene is this? Okay, so this is the scene at Christine's birthday party. Her and Amanda kind of uh, went out a little bit. Why would I come there to apologize if I didn't own up to what I said? We need to, I love everybody, and let's please continue. I love Mary. Celebrating Christine's birthday. Okay. I love uh, it was uncomfortable just because I wanted to kind of jump in, but I didn't really feel like it was the time or place. So um, even though there were a lot of opinions at the table, I feel like some of us were trying to like put a happy face on it because, you know, we're there for a birthday. So, but that's another reason why I love Amanda. Like she, you know where you stand with her. Well, now I don't know if we can. Oh, there's the face. Yeah, I'm, I feel like if there was an emoji that could wrap up me watching the show, at least the, the stuff with the girls, I will say, will be this emoji, uh, a different emoji for the other parts. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on. Uh, Mary and Romaine, let's see what we got here, last one. Okay, so this scene uh, is with Mary and Romaine. Um, they had some drama. Uh, with his bachelor party in Vegas. So I think this is where we kind of see what was, what it was about. Uh, how was the respect when I asked where the girls up there and you lied about it? I where was the respect then? I just didn't think it was the right things to tell you at that point. You truly can see both sides of the argument. I can, and it's tough because, you know, I know both of these people and they're really good people. So I can totally see where this is just a miscommunication and crossed wires of one person meaning the best and, you know, it's not working out for the best because that's how it goes, right? But I'm all about intention. What did you intend to do? So um, I'm happy that they ended up working through this. 
That's why you can't put like back everything like in question. That's no. what a lie does. It, yes, it makes but then a when lie you get makes to you know the whole story. It's wrong what I've done. Uh, oh, it makes me uncomfortable. But I mean, how many of us haven't been in an argument like that where, you know, it's so clear to you, and then when you watch it, it's helpful because you can see a little more where the person's coming from. So, uh, but I get that a hundred percent. That's that's tough to watch you know it's tough to watch all of us go through stuff that's why i'm not gonna watch any of the stuff i went through because i can't so i'm gonna keep it with those clips i hope you guys enjoyed thank you guys for watching leave a comment below to let us know what you think some of what you think <laughs> some of it keep it to yourselves <laughs> bye cosmo uk <laughs>